Robert De Niro and Shia LaBeouf are teaming up for some father and son spy work. It's being reported that De Niro and LaBeouf are attached to play a father-son spy team in Spy's Kid for Paramount, which is described as a catch-me-if-you-can-esque story set in the world of espionage. LaBeouf's Disturbia director, DJ Caruso, is in talks to take the helm, and the project is based on a series of articles published in The Oregonian by Brian Denson that tell the true story of a CIA veteran convicted of spying who enlisted his son to continue his work from behind bars. John, do you like the sound of Spy's Kid? Sure, this is the Robert Rodriguez film, right? This is like part four, mm -hmm. Spy... Oh, no, that's Spy Kids. Oh, Spy's <laughs> Kid. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, look, Robert De Niro has not been the same Robert De Niro for a very long time. Every once in a while, he gives us a killer performance, but for the most part, he's been basically mailing it in for like 15 years, e even though he's got the potential in him to still be one of the world's great actors. But whenever he's in something, you got my attention. Shia, on the other hand, is one of these guys that does simply not get the credit he deserves. Mm -hmm. When people think of Shyla, they just they just instantly think of Transformers. And if they don't like Transformers and they don't like Shia, and they and you know obviously they didn't like the fact that you know he was uh, in that terrible Indiana Jones film. Yeah. But they blame him for it being a terrible movie, and they shouldn't. Shia LaBeouf is a great actor. Steven Spielberg sees it, and I'm I'm all you know due respect to you, my friends. I'll take Steven Spielberg's opinion of an actor over yours <laughs> and over mine and over anything else. Um, if Spielberg says this kid's got it, then I believe he's got it. And when you look at the films that he's been, especially Law Lawless was such a triumph for a lot of actors. You just really see this guy has what it takes to be a great, maybe not you know one of the top five actors of the in the business, but a legit A-lister. So I like anything he's in. It's also very curious to me that DJ Caruso may be directing this. Because not only did they work together with, with Shia LaBeouf in Disturbia, which was a really nice little film, um, they also worked together in Eagle Eye, which was not a memorable film, but not a bad little uh, throwaway actioneer kind of movie. And what was really interesting is that for the longest time, there have been talk, and I think it's fallen apart now, there's been talk about DJ Caruso and Shia LaBeouf teaming up, teaming up to do Why the Last Man. And Why the Last Man, for those of you who don't know anything about it, it's this uh, graphic novel series about just one day people the, people wake up and every male on the planet is dead. And not just humans, like animals too, except for this one dude and his pet monkey. And they don't know why, but they're the last two males on the planet. It's a fascinating read. Um, and those two, I thought Shia would have been a great choice, but I think that's fallen apart. But they were talking about doing that movie for years. So... Put LaBeouf in with De Niro, kind of a spy thriller, a little bit more of a serious tone with some action overtures, like an espionage type of film. Yeah, sign me up. I'm on board. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.